The lack of a coma limits the amount of surface ice to a few square meters, and any volatiles must lie below a crust at least 0.5 meters thick. It also indicates that the object must have formed within the frost line of its parent stellar system or have been in the inner region of that stellar system long enough for all near-surface ice to sublimate, as may be the case with damocloids. It is difficult to say which scenario is more likely due to the chaotic nature of small body dynamics, although if it formed in a similar manner to solar system objects, its spectrum indicates that the latter scenario is true. Any meteoric activity from Oumuamua would have been expected to occur on 18 October 2017 coming from the constellation Sextans, but no activity was detected by the Canadian Meteor Orbit Radar. On 27 June 2018, astronomers reported that Oumuamua was thought to be a mildly active comet, and not an asteroid, as previously thought. This was determined by measuring a non-gravitational boost to Oumuamua's acceleration, consistent with comet outgassing. Studies submitted in October 2018 suggest that the object is neither an asteroid nor a comet, although the object could be a remnant of a disintegrated interstellar comet, as suggested by astronomer Zdenek Sekanina. Spectra from the Hale telescope on 25 October showed red color resembling comet nuclei or trojans. Higher signal-to-noise spectra recorded by the 4.2 meters William Herschel telescope later that day showed that the object was featureless, and colored red like Kuiper belt objects. Spectra obtained with the 8.2 meters Very Large Telescope the following night showed that behavior continued into near-infrared wavelengths. Its spectrum is similar to that of D-type asteroids. Oumuamua is not rotating around its principal axis, and its motion may be a form of tumbling. This accounts for the various rotation periods reported, such as 8.10 hours by Bannister et al. With a light curve amplitude of 1.5 to 2.1 magnitudes, whereas Meech et al reported a rotation period of 7.3 hours in a light curve amplitude of 2.5 magnitudes. Most likely, Oumuamua was set tumbling by a collision in its system of origin, and remains tumbling since the timescale for dissipation of this motion is very long, at least a billion years. The large variations on the light curves indicate that Oumuamua may be anything from a highly elongated cigar-like object, comparable to or greater than the most elongated solar system objects, to an extremely flat object, a pancake or oblate spheroid. The size and shape have not been directly observed as Oumuamua appears as nothing more than a point source of light even in the most powerful telescopes. Neither its albedo nor its triaxial ellipsoid shape is known. If cigar-shaped, the longest to shortest axis ratio could be 5 to 1 or greater. Assuming an albedo of 10% and a 6 to 1 ratio, Oumuamua has dimensions of approximately 100 meters minus 1000 meters 35 meters to 167 meters 35 meters to 167 meters with an average diameter of about 110 meters. According to astronomer David Jewitt, the object is physically unremarkable except for its highly elongated shape. Have suggested that it could also be a contact binary, although this may not be compatible with its rapid rotation. One speculation regarding its shape is that it is a result of a violent event that caused its ejection from its system of origin. JPL News reported that Oumuamua is up to one quarter mile long and highly elongated, perhaps ten times as long as it is wide. A 2019 paper finds the best models as either a cigar shape, one to eight aspect ratio, or disc shape, one to six aspect ratio, with the disc more likely since its rotation does not require a specific orientation to see the range of brightnesses observed. Monte Carlo simulations based on the available orbit determinations suggest that the equatorial obliquity of Oumuamua could be about 93 degrees, if it has a very prolate or cigar-like shape, or close to 16 degrees, if it is very oblate or disc-like. A 2021 paper found that the extreme shape was likely a result of recent evaporation, and that when the object entered the solar system it likely had an unremarkable 2 to 1 aspect ratio. The authors calculated that a month after perihelion, that Oumuamua had lost 92% of the mass it had upon entering the solar system. Light curve observations suggest the object may be composed of dense metal-rich rock that has been reddened by millions of years of exposure to cosmic rays. It is thought that its surface contains tholines, which are irradiated organic compounds that are more common in objects in the outer solar system and can help determine the age of the surface. This possibility is inferred from spectroscopic characterization and its reddish color, and from the expected effects of interstellar radiation. Despite the lack of any cometary coma when it approached the Sun, it may still contain internal ice, hidden by an insulating mantle produced by long-term cosmic ray exposure. In November 2019, some astronomers have noted that Oumuamua may be a cosmic dust bunny, due to its very lightweight and fluffy conglomerate of dust and ice grains. In August 2020, 
Astronomers reported that Oumuamua is not likely to have been composed of frozen hydrogen which had been proposed earlier. The compositional nature of the object continues to be unknown. In December 2017, astronomer Avi Loeb of Harvard University, an advisor to the Breakthrough Listen project, cited Oumuamua's unusually elongated shape as one of the reasons why the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia would listen for radio emissions from it to see if there were any unexpected signs that it might be of artificial origin, although earlier limited observations by other radio telescopes such as the SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array had produced no such results. On 13 December 2017, the Green Bank Telescope observed the object for six hours across four bands of radio frequency. No radio signals from Oumuamua were detected in this very limited scanning range, but more observations were planned. Outgassing of nitrogen ice could explain why no outgassing was detected. Nitrogen ice the size of Oumuamua could survive for 500 million years in the interstellar medium and would reflect two-thirds of the sun's light. This explanation has been further supported in March 2021 when scientists presented a theory based on nitrogen ice, and further concluded that Oumuamua may be a piece of an exoplanet similar to the dwarf planet Pluto, an exo-Pluto is noted, from beyond our solar system. In November 2021, theoretical studies by Siraj and Loeb hypothesized that Oumuamua was not a nitrogen iceberg. It has been proposed that Oumuamua contains a significant amount of hydrogen ice.